Hey, what's up guys? It's John Cassidy here, and I'm with Austin from the Urban Files, and we're checking out this abandoned Hercules factory in Canton, Ohio. So, let's check it out. Let's get to it, guys. Hercules Motors is a partially abandoned industrial factory that manufactured high-speed, lightweight gasoline engines in Canton, Ohio. The plant's buildings, very close to downtown, are being rehabilitated into apartments, offices, and retail space. The Hercules Motors plant was initially the location of Ball, Altman, and Company's mechanical grain thresher and reaper manufacturing plant. Built in 1852, the factory was later purchased by Arctic Ice Machinery Corporation, one of the earliest producers of refrigerating equipment in the nation. The company was succeeded by York Ice Machinery Corporation. In 1894, the Hercules Motor Corporation was formed in Canton, Ohio, and produced high-speed, lightweight gasoline engines, which then became the standard for early truck manufacturers in the United States. It moved to York Ice Machinery Factory in 1915. The company soon expanded into engine production for farm machinery, generators, and oil field equipment, and in 1931 it introduced a line of high-speed, lightweight diesel engines. During World War II, Hercules expanded its factory to produce 18,000 engines per month to supply the United States and Allied Armed Forces with engines. Nearly 5,000 were employed by the end of the conflict and the company had built nearly 750,000 Hercules engines that went into armored cars, jeeps, landing aircrafts, picket boats, tanks, scout vehicles, and tank transporters. In 1956, Hercules introduced a line of interchangeable overhead valve gasoline and diesel engines with three, four, and six cylinders. Identical cylinder blocks, crankshafts, rods, valves, and such were used for the engines, saving costs. In the early 1960s, the companies acquired the Lyoming Industrial Air-Cooled Engine Division of Avco and Hall Street Engine Division and relocated them to Canton. What is this? Is this an old freezer? Yo, this is sketch. purchased Hercules in October of 1961, with the Canton plant becoming the Hercules division. In July of 1966, White Motors purchased the Hercules division of Hub, which became effective at the end of the year. The Canton facility was operated as the White Engine Division, the engine division was sold in 1976, and the company reorganized as White Engines, Inc. The newly formed company mostly built engines for the military, such as multi-field engines for two and a half to five ton trucks, and engines for 15 and 30 kilowatt generator sets. The remainder were engines for private applications. White Engines also entered into a private brand contract with Caterpillar Tractor to supply engines for its tow motor line. Additionally, a 70 horsepower diesel engine was developed by White and marketed by Ford Motor Company for its use in its E350 vehicles. 
Neoax Inc. of New Jersey later acquired White Motors. Neoax sold purchase rights to White Engines to Wedtech in October 1986. Two months later, Wedtech filed for bankruptcy protection as Wedex dealings came under federal investigation. New York investors Donald C. Stewart, Campbell Corfe, and eight others, many of them former Hercules officers, acquired the rights of the White Engines from Wedtech's bankruptcy trustee for $800,000. In March of 1987, the investors purchased White Engines for $56.7 million in a leveraged buyout. They renamed the company Hercules Engines, Inc. At the time, the company employed more than 600. The company saw its fortunes decline with the long-term cuts in the defense industry, which upon it depended. In 1988, about 80% of Hercules' business were defense contracts, which dropped to just 45% of total orders by 1992. Hercules notified its workers on October 16, 1992, that the company could close for good between October 28th and November 10th. The company, which employed 380, had an additional 280 persons laid off. Hercules Engines, Inc. reorganized as the Hercules Engine Company in November of 1992. The move allowed it to lay off 350 employees, but the company later agreed to rehire 75% of its employees. On April 19, 1999, Hercules sent home its remaining 30 employees for what many believed was an extended shutdown. The plant never reopened, and its equipment was auctioned on June 8th. Shortly after, Hercules Engine Components was established in Maslin to support the Hercules Engine's customer base with replacement parts and services. The company expanded in 2003 and created an engine remanufacturing center with a state-of-the-art engine cleaning, machining, assembly, and testing center for nearly all engine types and companies. It expanded again in 2006 when it formed an airline ground support equipment division to perform zero-time refurbishment of bag tow tractors and belt loaders. It also upgraded and converted engines from diesel to electric. Eslich Wrecking Company purchased the 26-acre, 620,000-square-foot site in April of 2000 for 600000 They proposed redeveloping the buildings for industrial use. The environmental work to upgrade the buildings was projected to cost $800,000 to $1 million. In June, the state lent Eslitz Wrecking $830,000 from its Ohio Department of Development's Urban Revitalization Loan Program. The redevelopment proposal by Eslitz never came to fruition, and the only use for the site were two haunted houses, the Factory of Terror, that operated in 2002 and 2003. The Hercules engine site was identified as a location for a potential sports arena in 2003. The city proposed relocating the Pro Football Hall of Fame to the downtown location and creating a gritty young district, but the Board of Football Museum rejected it. A group of developers under Broadview Development Company acquired the Hercules engine site in 2005. The developers partnered with Cormoni Development who proposed a 178 million mixed-use development containing 150 residential units, 70 to 80,000 square feet of retail, 100,000 square feet of office space, and 100,000 square feet of a convention room within the existing Hercules buildings. Around the same time, the national economic outlook grew sour and the credit markets tightened. In 2007, Clean Ohio funds were awarded for the remediation of environmental concerns at the former engine plant. The project was then awarded $36.7 million in Ohio Historic Preservation tax credits from the Ohio Department of Development in 2008. By 2013, private financing was secured for the project, $13.8 million from Huntington Bank, $5 million in equity, $3 million from Clean Ohio, and $2.7 million from the construction firm. On November 14, 2016, Cormoni secured a $3 million loan from the city contingent on the repayment of Cormoni's $2 million loan that was used for its historic Arnesto lofts. Due to the prevalence of financing from other sources, the loan from the city was never used. 
To jumpstart the construction, the Hercules engine redevelopment project was split into phases, with the first 28 million phase including 95 market rate apartments. The design was headed by Jonathan Sandvik architecture firm, notable for work in the Flats district of Cleveland. Construction began in 2016 on the redevelopment of the Hercules engine complex. The first phase focused on the oldest buildings dating to 1875, with 90 market rate apartments spread over 125,000 square feet and included amenities such as a community room and private roof decks. The second phase construction start date is contingent on the passage of tax increment financing by the city. The first phase of the redevelopment project was completed on December 18, 2017. So that's the history of this amazing engine plant. Please enjoy the rest of the exploration and let's go explore everyone. Yeah, I see the footsteps. There looks like an old office or something. Yeah. Oh, there's some more stairs. You want to go see what's up there? Yeah. yeah. Careful, don't get your camera wet. All right, right here. Oh, those are the open apartments right over there. Dude, this is like, I bet you this is for the apartment complex. These are cabinets. Yeah, these are probably the apartments, really. Look, like look behind you. There's a whole stock of them. Look at, the, are those old speakers over there? I don't know what those are. Oh, those are a cabinet, too. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, it is. That's got to be for the apartments. Yeah. This is really cool looking. Oh, it's look, it's caved in over there. Where? Straight ahead. Oh yeah. Wow. You wanna walk over? Yeah, it's good. All right. Some shit. That's sick, Here's where the roof caved in, guys. That's yeah. insane. And over here is an old stairwell, which we'll be we'll probably walk back down this here in a little bit. It looks really cool in here. So, and then let's walk over here. There's a whole up, open area over here still. This right here was an old elevator, you can see. Oh, 
Wow, this looks really cool over here. And you can see like the building's crooked. And here's a courtyard, guys. I didn't expect to see a courtyard. Wow, look how amazing that is. Here's an old bathroom, it looks like. Yo, this is weird. This doesn't have a smell. <laughs> and I think that's an elevator shaft over there. Holy shit. I almost just watched you bite the dust. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think I caught it. I wish I would have. Look, this whole building's like crooked. Oh, I don't really know. I don't know if we should walk through that. Uh, toxic. Look at this toxic waste here, guys. Looks real safe. Oh, yeah, look at this weird white mold here, guys. Yeah, this is sick. Here's another little room, guys. I'm not sure if this was maybe another office or something. Oh, let me get my light on my phone. Yeah, this is a bathroom. There's still toilets in here. Yeah, oh shit, look at that. It's all bloody. What do you mean? The toilet's all bloody. Whoa. Somebody had a bloody ass or something. That's weird though. That's creepy as hell. Why would it be like that? I have no idea. There's a urinal, guys. This was the men's bathroom then. Alright. That's weird. Alright, guys. Did we go over here before? I don't think so. What's this? That's the, oh, that's oh, where that restroom was. The sign right there. Yeah, it says men. That's dope, ain't it? That's sweet. I wonder if this was the women's then over here. Here's some old tile floor. That's old. I can't believe we drove past this place and thought there was nothing here. Oh, no. <laughs> You're like, where is it? I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> yeah, very strange.
Fun, the fun room. The fun room. Oh boy, guys. <laughs> Yo, that's so dark. Yeah, it is. I guess I'll go first. Hello. Wow, look at the lighting. That is sick. It's a really old sliding door here, guys. A light leak. No, don't hit it though. It's over here. It really would. Let's go back down here. Bill Nye. <laughs> yeah, see? This is Bill Nye over here. Here's another cool building, guys. It is. What are those? That's weird, ain't it? There's like. This has like a handle. Yeah. I just don't want to touch it. Yeah, I don't know where those handles have been. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's walk down this way. There's another building down there we can go to. So here's another little room, guys. Austin's checking it out over here. <laughs> I don't know what this one is. like maintenance or something. Oh, one second. There's like something in my shoe. Out. Okay. Yeah, Whoa, look, here's a candle. This is like a devil worship shipping thing, I, I think. Who should move this? Maybe there's something underneath. Cause look at this pillow guy, isn't there? That's weird red candle. It really is weird. weird? It's super weird. <laughs> Let's go over here and see if upstairs here. Yes, sir. This sign says no admittance. No what? No admittance. It's admittance. like really old. Huh? See? Oh, that's sick. Yeah, it feels like 1930s. Wow, this place is amazing, dude. Guys, well, we're gonna finish walking through here now. 
Oh, Yo, that's really old. Yeah, look at that. You turn it up? Turn it up all the way. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. It's all pretty <laughs> nasty. Look, here's like a little workshop area. Yeah, look at that. Oh, what is this? Look, here's one of them signs. What is that? They're just like the different sections yeah. of the factory. Wow. There's a light, light switch right here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, did you hear that? Don't, don't <laughs> f with that. Don't with that. Don't with that. Looks, this was caught on fire. Oh shit. Yeah, like a, a shaft. Yeah. Alright, well I think that's the last building guys. Yeah. So That was a hell of an explore though, dude. So many buildings here. Well, thank you all for watching my documentary and tour of the Hercules Motor Factory in Canton, Ohio. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Yeah.